yo. I'm pretty sure Dark Souls fans are lunatics. They seem so trustworthy since I was new to this. I thought maybe what's a great game I missed. Mate, you're gonna have a great time, they promise. It's the first time I believe a bold face lie. Sobbing to my pillow, hot tears, and I scream why. But honestly, how dense am I when the special edition's called... Welcome, I'm Sean. And my name's Ryan. And this is Try Jumping, a Dark Souls chat. About the experience of playing Dark Souls 1 from two very different perspectives. This is part 2, covering everything we did after acquiring the Lord Vessel in in Orlando. Alright, so uh, yeah, we're getting into the second half. This is happening, I don't know how, it's happening a while after we recorded part 1. Yeah, it was a couple months. So uh, this is, uh, if you think it's hard to schedule doing things on the internet with people, it seems just as hard, (laughs) harder to schedule in real life. But yeah, in part one, we uh, I would listen to that first. We covered the first half of the game, talked about our experiences. This is um, Ryan's first time playing Dark Souls 1. He does have experience with Dark Souls 2. Yeah. And I'm returning to Dark Souls 1 after playing through the rest of the series. So this is sort of my, my second blush after having a sort of the full Souls experience. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Um, so, so after, at least for myself, this is sort of the way I played through it. After Anne Orlando, I, uh, the first area is uh, Dark Anne Orlando. And, uh... played through Dark Animal Londo? I did. Not, yeah. On a separate character. Not the not the first one that I talked about okay. in the first part, but I have played through So it. is everything for this with the separate character? Uh, no. Okay. Because no, uh, um, what's, what sort of build were you using? On the separate character? Yeah, for the, for the Dark Animal Londo. Oh, I was using um, a rapier build okay so, so sort of dex yeah, stuff rust. yeah i really like dex okay my, my other build that was for the first one was with katana okay so it's all it's all yeah, sort of dex. it's always dex okay and, uh, <laughs> and the route i went with him with a katana was i was using power within with a fully ascended um pyromancy flame yeah. <laughs> and then i would just cast like great chaos firestorm or whatever it's called and yeah. great chaos fireball <laughs> and i basically just one-shotted most of the bosses yeah it seems like um so. yeah and I, I and i i'm sticking with my one character my my zwy hander yeah. <laughs> like quality yeah. build so uh oh, so that's how that so so you uh i assume you had hints about dark and orlando yes i did yeah. i think you actually okay took me off to it yeah because that's uh, that's super easy to miss did. i mean who would uh who would chuck something at? I, yeah, no, you never <laughs> attack NPCs. Never. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. The game teaches you not to. Well, yeah. actually, no, that's not true. Because sometimes they give you items you want, like. Yeah, like but if if you attack them in Dark Souls, especially, it's like a pretty permanent choice. It is, yeah. Like well, gonna, this one's super permanent. They're too. gonna hate you for eternity yeah. if you swipe them. You like... Potentially lose a bonfire. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, I. Like I thought that that cutscene and just that like change is super cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, and you hear Gwendolyn's voice, which is interesting. It's yeah. so androgynous. It's like yeah, a yeah. Cool choice by the designers, I think. Yeah, it's it, it sort of reveals this like you you think that the game is like this almost too stereotypical quest to yeah. like go save the world, and you're just kind of trusting what like if you're talking with Frant. And if you're talking, like, if you're believing everything they say, yeah. you're just like, oh, yeah, there's this princess. She's telling me to go to, like, the next castle. <laughs> well, and especially at that point, I think they wanted you to feel like it was over the top. Yeah. Because it's all, like, you know, there's, like, this, like, holy music and there's all this sunlight filtering yeah. in. It's like, is this real? That's yeah. like, And if you're familiar at yeah. all with Dark Souls or maybe when Dark Souls first came out, if you're familiar with Demon Souls, you know, mm-hmm. you just, like, know this isn't typical <laughs> you don't you like, don't what trust what it. is this yeah. yeah and yeah it just seems too good to be true and, and and you're right it's like this like fairy tale quest yeah and dark souls is all about like reality and the 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 
harshness of reality and of choice. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it's, it's totally the opposite of, yeah. of what you're taught to experience. So I, I, I definitely, when I first played through and I didn't know of Darkin or Londo, mm-hmm. um, that moment felt really weird to, yeah. after uh, Ornstein and Smo to go into that room and have it just be so bright and yeah. happy and I was like oh can I stay here yeah it's like totally not reality she's saying all like those the or and thou and like yeah. all that like weird speech and like she's like she's like obviously supposed to like represent like super like feminine it's like sort of playing towards like a weird like yeah. sort of a weird because your character can be anything in the world but she definitely seems like she's trying to like appeal to you <laughs> yeah <laughs> like yeah. obviously just like with her pose and just yeah being, like, right the breasts are like yeah. great and yeah exactly I don't know. Like one of those, one of those messages, like great chest ahead, or like some <laughs> silly signs people throw down. But uh, yeah, funny. and it is over the top, and that's a good point. Like it's so over the top that like you should question. It. Yeah, it's like, are you picking anything up from this? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, I just went through like Sense Fortress, and it's like the darkest. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it's, it's so like, abysmal. It's just like a death. Death. Well, I guess zone. maybe the abyss is abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so. So you you do that and you make it go dark and then yeah and then I mean you know the, the, and the area is just like hardly any enemies. Oh, there. it's such a relief. Though. If it's a relief, like it it's 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 super eerie because like it is like, You're like holding your breath the whole time. Yeah, and it's just so dark there, and if it, and it's like oh, this is the actual world. <laughs> yeah, like not even Anne Orlando could like survive. Right, like what's happening right now, yeah. and um. Yeah, I, I love that. And then the uh, flames going out. Yeah, That's exactly. Cool. Like yeah. even even the, the, even, the dark. <laughs> even the sun's fake. <laughs> I know. Point. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like um, so then there's the uh, Gwendolyn fight, and um, yeah. so how did that go for you with your whole? Uh, did he fought? He, he would be a harder one to activate your like spell thing on, wouldn't it? For oh, for my <laughs> katana guy. Yeah, I mean, I just used the Uchi katana at that yeah. point. Um, you know, so I. Since I was tipped off to the area, I didn't really walk into it blindly. I, you know, looked looked up online and, and I, s- I read some recommendation about, uh, you know, sidewinding between the pillars yep. to reach him yep. or her. Well, I think it's a him, but raised as Yeah, Gw- Gwendolyn is of, a Not guy. raised as a girl, but... Yeah, Gw- I don't know why Gwen did it. Like, Moonlight is supposed to be, like, feminine, so yeah. he raised him as, like, a, a daughter. Yeah. So I, I don't know how Gwendolyn feels about any, any <laughs> yeah, of that. Yeah, maybe sensitive to it, and but, but, that's uh, why he attacks you. But, um, but so the fight went all right. I, I think you have to learn um, sort of his wind-up animations for his spells to yeah. know when to run, yeah. when not to run, when to hide, that yeah. kind of thing. So it was a little frustrating at first, losing to that because like it's a pretty straightforward boss and him is just like run up hit him yeah. and then he teleports away just mm-hmm. repeat yeah. um so once you get that that system down it's yeah. pretty easy but there's a huge punishment to losing and i don't know if <laughs> oh, there's yeah. a workaround the i hadn't <laughs> figured out like maybe you're supposed to set the winding pillars in a certain way to make it easier i never came to any conclusion on that and i and just suffered really long yeah. run because you respawn at the bonfire, um, the firekeeper bonfire. In, yeah, because you've been you've been like kicked back. Right. You can't. And then yeah. the winding pillars, or whatever the staircases, they're set to whatever you needed them to be to get there. Yeah. Which is not where you need them now. So you have to go through. Yeah. The rafters again. Yeah, I like. <sighs> At least that's what I found, and that was really frustrating. What did I? What did I end up doing? Um, I, I figured there was a way not to do that. Um. Yeah. I, but I never came to it. This is where the part of me have not having. I don't think my run was that long, but it's still a really long run. I think what I ended up doing was, um, I ended up warping to the bon- to the oh, to a, a different smarter. bonfire. The sunlit princess. One. Yeah, whichever one I could go. Yeah, I think it was. So I just had to take it back down again. Oh, but did you have to go I through Sun's Fortress it... because you can't warp? Because I killed the bonfire keeper. And can't oh, you man. not warp from a bonfire? That's dead but you can warp to it so like the firekeeper one I, yeah. you can't sit down and warp from it mm. yeah, so I, you'd I, have to go back to sense fortress all i know is to that one yeah. that one that actually probably be shorter yeah i, I did a hop skip and a jump yeah like the first one in Anne orlando was the one i kept going yes. from but i didn't have to go through the rafters I was it like I pulled yeah. I pulled the stuff back up. It just takes forever. Maybe I never figured that. Because you still That's have stupid. You still have to take like elevators everywhere. Uh, it's obnoxious. 
Yeah, but anyways, yeah. So that fight was interesting. Um, I actually really only did it to get the brass armor set because I thought it looked cool. But then I put it on and I was like, I actually don't want to use this. It's like, Great. Yeah, yeah. I actually i i i like the Gwendolyn fight. It's yeah. it's kind of gimmicky. Like it, it feels kind of like on a way it's of unique, though. Yeah, it's like once you like you said once you understand, and that's what I like about it. It is different, and it it reminds me with the slight gimmicky feel of it. It feels a little like demon souls and stuff and uh just because a lot of their their fights are tend to be more gimmicky so okay but like yeah so that's it's not a hard fight once you get it but it is very punishing to like yeah it lose is it. and with this y hander it was kind of hard oh, to like to hit i had to really like <laughs> sprint and like jump and try to hope i'd get a hit yeah it was easy with my rapier build because that yeah. has a great lunge attack on the cards but, yeah and yeah that was and actually um in, in Dark Souls three, there's sort of a remix of that oh, fight. Cool. Not a full remix. Not they don't actually take the main gimmick, which is the hallway. Yeah. But uh, Gwendolyn's move set is kind of used there on a boss, and um, I I'm a defender of that fight. It's Aldrich fight. I I actually like that one a bit. So do um, people not? People don't because he uh, does the same thing with the like. Well, he fires this thing with these arrows that chase you around. But okay. it, it's sort of, I still enjoy it in the same way where it's like basically pattern recognition. Right. And it's like once you get the pattern, it's pretty doable. Yeah, I think people just complain about those fights <laughs> in general in Dark Souls. But, so yeah, and, and progressively they do start to get beefy, but. Yeah. All right. So I, I think, yeah, Dark Anna Orlando is cool. Gwendolyn. Yeah, I think it's cool for the lore behind exactly. it. Exactly. I think, That's I, think what makes I think what it sets up for the world is really yeah. cool. Yeah. And so then, from there, um, go through this stuff relatively fast. I, 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 this is when I did Darkroot Basin, the Hydra, the Moonlight Butterfly. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't, and, you know, Darkroot Garden, the Forest Hunters. because i like the air i think it's really cool because it has a lot of enemy types that are like different from your normal like guys attacking you yeah but i'm so overpowered at this point for these areas they're like the hydra like <laughs> dead the moonlight butterfly yeah. is a joke the moonlight butterfly is a joke <laughs> that <laughs> boss fight is just lame and if you summon witch beatrice or whoever it is yeah. for it it's just like yeah and yeah. I think you can actually fight the Moonlight Butterfly as your first boss. I know. I, I'm surprised <laughs> that we're not covering Dark Root Basin earlier, because I usually go here really early on, especially to get the Grass Crest Shield. Yeah, and actually, um, that's, what, that's what I did. Yeah. I uh, I went in it, but not long enough to like put it as a bullet point. Yeah. But I pretty much pop in, get the Grass Crest Shield, right. and then I come back. On one build, I was basically um, not cosplaying. What do you call it when you do a... Anyways, I was being Shiva of the East. Yeah. So I just first one of the first uh, <laughs> places I went to was there to kill him. Yeah. And take his stuff. I like the little forest hunter area. I mean, when you're like sort of overpowered yeah. for it, it's pretty cool. That's like, fun. That's a place I like to farm souls too because it makes it interesting. Have you ever? Uh, did you see the trick where if you go, run out into the area oh, with the and hunters and you jump off. you stand in the stairs, they'll like walk over. <laughs> yeah, like, I've, the... I read about that. I never did it though. <laughs> I I never I didn't I do found it. it just as easy just to like kill them. I mean, yeah, because I was like powerful enough at that point, right. and it's, like it's a, easy. But a um, poster too. And I, I love when like coming back to the game at least um, the first time you meet Alvina. I'm like, ah, like, what's the answer to this question? I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate that about Dark Souls. And and you know, you know, the designers are like. <laughs> <laughs> let's make them have to make a choice here that's gonna impact yeah. the entire game not yeah. the entire game but what you get to do because i think if you answer wrong it's a pretty severe she goes like, away doesn't like she i think she goes yeah. away like maybe for the rest of the game yeah or like she's definitely that's and, then, what I found. and then they're mad at you right or like uh at least like yeah you, well yeah because you're not part of the covenant right they yeah you. so <laughs> it's just such, a, <laughs> such a jerk move because like if anyone can like actually listen to me and ask that question and follow along like I think like they they have a different language ability than I do. <laughs> I know because there's just too many like back and forth double negatives. It's yeah, <laughs> it, it's hard to follow. It's also interesting that um, like I mean, so the way like it's made by FromSoft, which is a Japanese company, but mm -hmm. all of the all of the dialogue and stuff is English, and yeah. they, they do record in English, but still 
when they originally make it, they still translate to get like item descriptions. And I assume dialogue is still translated. And then it's just, it's always recorded in English. Hmm. But that's kind of an interesting point where I assume whoever was translating that, like they're just like, here, we have to ask all these weird questions. Cause like, I don't know anything about Japanese, but I don't know if you can do the same double negatives. I was just curious. I'm like, yeah. It just sort of, there's no real answer. There's so many. Yeah. I can come up with now. But <laughs> I'm just like, how did, how was that originally planned? Like, is that the same thing? Or is that like, like they're like, what would be really confusing for an English speaking person? Like, I, I just, know. I wonder yeah. how that translates could, in subtitles. Look through the credits and find who, yeah. whose job that was. <laughs> I mean, that's a question for someone out there on the internet. What does that whole dialogue thing sound like in Japanese? Is it just yeah. as confusing or is it lose? Yeah, are there double negatives <laughs> in the Japanese language? Yeah, like, does it work the same way as English where it can be, like, so confusing? But probably not. Probably not. English is only, like, the worst. Yeah, it's the only language where <laughs> we have competitions to see how well you can spell your own language. Yeah so uh, but yeah and then i mean sort of playing into that stuff um sif <laughs> I mean, oh my we're both over leveled right so yeah. sif is kind of like was such a joke well you're not even over level because you I, mean, I guess you could do him yeah no because it's sealed isn't is the door sealed uh well there is, i mean there's the crest of artorius that you need like the twenty thousand. right but what about the Lord, like i think you can get i don't know if you can get either way i think you could you fit. can He's so easy, though. It, either oh way, yeah. It was yeah. pathetic. The very first time I went up against him, and I hadn't like read about this online. Mm -hmm. This is like pure, just noob Dark yeah. Souls experience. I had no Estus, <laughs> and I had just gotten through like the whole Forest Covenant yeah. <laughs> area. And I'm like, okay, I know there's a boss ahead. I was vaguely aware of what he was. And mm -hmm. so I, and my, my reference for this was Dark Souls 2. So I was thinking he sounds like, like the great rat boss. Yeah, because yeah. that is a reference to Sif. Is yeah, the, uh, okay, that makes or, sense. For which everyone is the Royal Rat Authority. Yes. Yeah, 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 such a weird name. Um, but anyway, so I was like, okay, I could probably just stay underneath him yeah. and just go ham and hope that yeah. I beat him. And that's exactly what I did. And I just yeah. beat him on the first try with no S's. Yeah. I was like, okay, that was a joke. Yeah, it's, it's a slight sidetrack. Like, it's so depressing killing him. Though. Yeah, seeing it from this view, like, so seeing Dark Souls 2, like, I don't think anybody thinks Royal Rat Authority is a great fight. Yeah. Because it's pretty BS with the little tiny rats that come out so and then annoying. the toxic. That's the hardest part. Yeah. It's killing those things. It's crazy to me that they would want to reference Sif in that fight. Because, like, all the yeah. pathos and all, like, the emotion that goes into Sif that didn't translate that into the silly <laughs> giant rat. It doesn't translate at all. I'm like, what a weird That's reference. It's like a mockery. Yeah. Yeah. And like, and not in a fitting location either. No. You know? And Dark Souls 3 has another, the, the DLC has another reference to Sif because if, if Artorius isn't around, people should be asking like, where's Artorius? Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. like who are they trying to make into Artorius and Sif? And they're they're So they're always like remixing them, but like hmm. they never capture like, the Sif fight is like nothing really, but it's not. but with like the weight it holds, like it feels you feel like such a jerk. I know, like <laughs> when when you get the boss down to whatever percentage of health, mm. and he just starts limping around. Yeah, it's did like, you did you take a uh, moment to watch uh, that, or did you just not on the not on that first one? Because okay. like I said, I know Estes. Yeah, I was just, just like I need to live. Yeah, exactly. just, like, trying to slaughter <laughs> this thing. But on later playthroughs, I noticed it. And yeah. I was like, oh, I feel really bad now. Like, I know. I was, just stop fighting me, Sif. It's okay. That's what I did on my return. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it just to see because I'd never seen it. Because 25%, you can cut through that pretty fast. Oh, yeah. And never like actually see it. And you have that adrenaline going yeah. where it's like, okay, I'm almost done. But I paused and I was like, I'm going to force myself to just see it. And it was so depressing. It's so He's sad. like, please stop. I know. Like, he just like slowly swings it at you. It's like, okay. Especially if um especially if you do play like the Artorius of the Abyss DLC. Mm -hmm. Because um I know you haven't played through it, but in that DLC you meet Oh, don't doesn't he join up with you? You meet Puppy Sif near Aww, the end. And no, you, not you, the puppy. And Puppy Sif can actually help you fight the like the last story boss there. Oh yeah. And then also you save Sif. So, like, and if you play through that before seeing it. Sif, Sif, they change the cutscene so that Sif sort of nods to you. Because, like, oh, no. she remembers who you are. That's even worse. And it's just like, oh. That's awful. It's but, like Lassie, like, shooting it in the backyard. I know. I know. <laughs> okay, here we go. But that was one thing about my first playthrough because I'd sort yeller, of, whatever. yeah, I'd heard about Sif. 
But, like, the idea of fighting a giant wolf is, like, I don't know, at least at the time, it reminded me of, like, those t-shirts that people have. Like, oh, yeah. People are, like, really into wolves, and I was, like... I know, because it's on that <laughs> pinnacle, and, like, howls. Yeah. It looks like that stereotype. And, like, it should be kind of stupid, but, like, just, like, with all the stuff around it, like, I was, like... And, like, the texture, like, Sif it doesn't cool. Sif doesn't look great with the weird no, fur. No, it's weird. But, like, like it still works at It's cool that it's holding, like, this giant sword. <laughs> I know. Like, that just looks cool. I don't know how, like, like I was... I think it's impressive that the game made Well, I think he would have done better if he just, like, lunged at you with his mouth. <laughs> you know, it would be harder to yeah. dodge and stuff. Yeah, exactly. I think it's cute. Sif actually, like, uh, co- sort of copies Artorius's moveset. Oh, that's but cute. But as a dog holding a sword. Man, that feel even worse. <laughs> you, know, you know, but, yeah, so that's that's Sif. Feel like a jerk. But Thanks, then you, Dark Souls. you don't have to feel like a jerk in the new Londo ruins. <laughs> feel very justified killing well you don't you don't feel like a jerk in the new london ruins but you definitely feel like uh everyone who flooded new londo is probably a jerk because what like uh yeah. i mean we're skipping ahead but like we'll just we'll just hit the main points which i think when you drain it and you see all those like bodies like the floor is just oh, like, yeah. the, it's so it's, disgusting it's, <laughs> yeah. yeah it makes you pause like especially um when you see that it connects to the Valley of Drakes. Yeah. And there, I mean, there's just piles of bones and it's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, this is like the drainage pit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's sobering. It's like, oh. oh. But, I mean, what, what did New Londo ruins it? I don't know if it's, I think people definitely, it's a little bit polarizing. Like, uh, yeah. what did you, do you like New Londo? <laughs> Um, it has a gimmick, which, you know, yeah. the big gimmick of having to be, like, what is it, um, cursed? Yeah, you, need you have to, to be, be cursed. cursed to hurt, hurt I them. think that's, I, I don't feel like that adds to the game in any way, really. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, an annoyance you have to be conscious of while you're there. It's essentially, like, a, uh, equivalent of, like, a key yeah. <laughs> like, to get through. So, I, I don't know, I was torn on that, It's because it's, it's, it's one of those things where it doesn't matter until you need it to. You know, it's like, okay, is my mm-hmm. curse running out? I got to be mindful of this. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just plowing through it. Um, it's like item management. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it, it's it's interesting that they chose to do that. Whether or not I think that like makes the level better for it, I don't know. Yeah. And does it make it harder for it? I, again, I don't know because like once you know about it, it's pretty it's much pretty easy to manage. It's just like a, a, a item management and then like a. At that point in the game, a minor tax on yeah, the, and you then pop it a might catch you off guard yeah. occasionally. Which yeah. okay, like I guess that does make the level a little yeah. harder. I think I what I like about the level um, is its flavor, like the ghosts and stuff like that, yeah. and how you do have to drain it, and then it reveals this whole other yeah level. Um, I think that's cool. Yeah. Um, I think that's how I feel about it too because I think one of my favorite experiences was. I couldn't remember how I got through New Londo. Like that place yeah. is a maze. It is a maze, and it's surprising that yeah. And I and I I like the ghosts too. And I got this one thing where I was running through like you run across the bridge, but then you get into that like big building. Ugh, and there's the, so many ghosts. And, and there's like this one way you can go where you get to like a dead end yes. corridor. And I just like it's so tense running through because you're just I know running you're like, basically. I hope this was the right. And you just see avenue. like I turned around and I was playing shieldless with my white hand and I just saw like. It had to be like ghosts. a dozen ghosts like disappear, yeah. and I was like, "It's this was worth it." I died, obviously. Yeah, but like, it's just so cool to see all these ghosts like come out of the wall. It is cool. <laughs> it is really cool. But you don't need the curse thing to make that cool. I, it's kind of cool for world building. Yeah. Like, but like, is it worth the the annoyance? Like, I don't think so. That's I think what it, I was yeah, trying to get at. Yeah. I don't think I think it takes away from the fun of mm-hmm. the level. Uh, and not in, like, the normal way they take away from the fun of a level. Like, it's just annoying yeah. more than it is yeah. challenging. I'd argue less annoying than the catacombs, but we'll get we'll get to that Ugh. with those, those stupid skulls. <laughs> but that, that's for... That's you know, for I'm the... noticing a theme in Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> that's for the next session. Yeah, the, the later half of this game seems to be pretty heavy on yeah. gimmicks. But... I guess that makes sense, then. But um, Maybe they were trying for a theme there. Yeah, but... I don't think for the fun I got out of New Londo, because I do like it. I think it's tense running through. 
I think it's the right length once you understand. Yes. Except for the run of the Four Kings, which is yeah, I think that's dumb. I wish they put but, a bonfire or something but, there. Yeah, but the tension of the ghost isn't based on the curse for me. I think it's cool that it is really yeah. tense. I like yeah. that you're using that word. It, it, yeah. It's it's really fun. Yeah, going through this yeah. labyrinth with these ghosts chasing you and yeah. and. You know, you have to worry about whether or not you're cursed. Yeah. yeah. And you can go there at the beginning of the game. Which I is, usually do. Which is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that, that's one of the things about, like, overall thoughts. I'm like, man, that's what's so good about Dark Souls 1. You can, yeah, what I eventually <laughs> did is I would always get a plus 15 weapon for Ornstein and Smo. Yeah. So I would drain it and yeah. get the yeah. the large ember or whatever, whichever yeah. one gets you to plus 15. Yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Um, I'd go there first. Probably my, I don't know, my least favorite part, but uh, the Four Kings. <laughs> the the Four Kings. Cause... Oh my gosh. I had, okay. Funny experience <laughs> with the Abyss. All right. Yeah. So you oh, warned me. Oh, speaking of gimmicks. <laughs> you, you warned me that I might want to, I think, go to Sif before. Yeah. But I'm not sure I understood why. Like, yeah. I still did that. Because I didn't want to give it away, but I was like trying to strong. No, I didn't still do that, actually. Yeah. I, I'd forgotten about your suggestion. <laughs> and I was just like, tr- I was just trying to run through this level. Yeah. You know, get me to the boss. I just want to get yeah. through. I, I knew I had reached the point of the boss. Yeah. Um, and so, and I realized that there was no bonfire. Yeah. And... Yeah, entered the abyss. I was like, "Phew, I'm 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 away from those uh, dark wraiths." And <laughs> a, a friend was watching, and I start going down the spiral staircase, <laughs> and and I get to the end, and I'm like, "I think they want me to jump down here. I'm pretty sure they want me to jump yeah. down here. I don't think it's just is going to end in my death. That'd yeah. be really lame because there's a fog door I can't go through. Yeah, so they basically trapped me here. I was like vocalizing this yeah. to my buddy." And uh, I'm like, all right, I'm going to jump. And so I jump. And we're both just like watching me fall. <laughs> I just die. It's like, <laughs> I hate this game. Like, what the heck? Why would they do this to me? I just yeah. felt like the, the designers of the game just like, yeah. just screwed with me. It's yeah. like, okay. Um, I think it was late at night. And so I just shut it off. It's yeah. like, I don't want to deal with this. Anyways, went back to it. I was like, oh, you need the seal of Artorius or whatever. Yeah. So that was annoying. Um funny uh and they they got me you got me from soft <laughs> yeah. um yeah. but uh the bo- the actual boss fight the first time i played through it um i was just not getting the rhythm of it down and so i was so having hard a to. lot of you can't even figure out where they're, where they're located in the space because there's no floor <laughs> yeah it is really disoriented <laughs> i i don't do poorly in those scenarios okay. though I, I, i'm generally I pretty <laughs> spatially aware yeah and so once i got the pattern down like you basically keep to the right unless you see them spin if you mm-hmm. see them start to spin run away mm-hmm. um and once i got that down it was cake and i, I killed them really quickly okay um yeah I the the spatial disorientation um, didn't affect me too much, but I could mm-hmm. definitely see how that'd be really frustrating, especially if like your camera gets yeah off axis, you know, like, yeah. and you're not on that horizontal plane anymore. Yeah, because it's it's definitely a DPS race. It and is. Exactly. I don't I don't know if the Zweihander was like making that worse for me. Not I, I shielded up for the four kings, and then eventually I haveled up. Is sort of the cheesy Oh, you way. did? I put on half I usually... On. That's funny. We're opposites. You like gear up. I mm-hmm. usually strip down. Like, I put on gold hemlock yeah. for it. Because it has high magic resist. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's lightweight. And I was okay. just like... I tried to be as light well, as, as yeah, possible. Yeah, I, I used... I It's a cheese I knew about that I had... Um, Actually, I guess that's pretty much the the way I've always beat the four king. Because <laughs> if you have up, it's hard to take much damage, and then yeah. you just wail away, and it doesn't matter that's if you get hit. You just, <laughs> you just don't care. You, you just, just heal. Whack on. Yeah, you just put on havel. I was two handed really my Zweihander. Just I've never haveled up. Yeah, it it would be interesting just to see the difference of it. But if yeah. you can do it without it, it's it's that still super fun. easy though. Because I did it a few times without havels, and then I was like, fine, I'm gonna try it. And then I got it like. And first like, or okay, second. there's a reason. I, do I think this. it was the first try. I was just like, all right, okay, that's because I sort of knew the move set, but you like yeah. fat roll, so like you can't roll. Right. Like I literally just had to like, just Take had it. to like go for it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know. I may have even like done something ridiculous, like put on iron flesh or something. I don't. Oh remember. my gosh! <laughs> I was just that's like, I'm not gonna overkill. take damage. <laughs> but it's hilarious. But um. Yeah, I yeah. Saw... There's a fun trick though, where when they disappear, you can still attack the space that 
the king disappeared at. Okay. And continued to do damage to it until the next one appeared. Yeah, I think I knew that. And, like, with, with like, in Bloodborne, you can rally after someone dies. So I should be used to that. But also, Zweihander no, is such a big uh, opportunity cost to, like, oh, swing at yeah. stamina wise that yeah. I don't think I ever did that, which may have helped me a lot, actually. Yeah. Because, like, maintain my first few tries, I was getting a lot of kings. Like, I had, like, you can have plenty of round, but I think I, yeah. I, I always had, like, three around. And that's oh, just, like, a that's rough. There's just too much. You can't coordinate in your head that many number of attacks coming from that many directions. No, although I I found I I didn't often find myself in a situation where there were multiple kings, mm-hmm. uh, not that many. But the times I did, where like another had spawned, they didn't start attacking me right away. No, they, they, it does seem like they kind of they like, kind of like linger. They kind of like give you a little which bit is of nice, chance. Yeah, otherwise you just die. But uh, yes, yeah, so, so that's the four kings, that and cool. that's where I um saw Koth and uh, I went with Koth for my play because I actually hadn't seen the the dark ending so I wanted to go with Koth yeah on a later playthrough I I went with Koth but I had already talked with Framped and I think if you've talked with Framped Koth doesn't show up yeah which I think is really cool going back to replayability is like just how much Dark Souls is willing to hide from you yeah sometimes to a very punishing degree because like Framped you're you're uh, they like push you to talk to them it made me sad because I love Framped. Like in talking, he's so weird. It's Even cool. weirder than Cotton. <laughs> Framped, Framped, like they both they both lie to you in different ways. Like, yeah, I think Framped kind of like overtly lies to you. Mm-hmm. Um, and Koth just doesn't tell the whole truth. Yeah, I don't. He tells think... the truth, but not all of it, or yeah. at least a only a perspective of it. And maybe Fram does a sim. You could say Framped does that similarly, where he's right. telling a truth but not yeah. all of it, but. But I think Fram's more, more just trying to, um, you know, uh, pull the wool over your eyes. Yeah, he he's trying to just keep the current situation active. I feel right, like because, but then yeah, then Koth, he's because Koth tells you a little more than Fram does. He it's reveals a, the yeah. duplicity. It feels like he's like letting you know, like oh yeah, like, exactly. The Dark Souls, but he's supposed still to... using you. Yeah. Because like they're all just using. Like, you. have you seen the abyss? Like, have you seen the dark race? Does, <laughs> yeah. it, does it look like an age of dark is gonna be good? <laughs> like, yeah. So I, I, I agree. Place. I like because some people, you know, it's all up to interpretation intentionally. Mm-hmm. But some people say, oh yeah, the, the age of dark is the true like good age, just like humanity as you see it. And I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure your cost's gonna twist it. Like, even if it would yeah. be okay, he's obviously doing it toward. No, he end. is, and I can't remember. Um... So that I watched this this like YouTube uh, guy does prepare to die or prepare to cry. Yep, Vadi. Yeah, yeah, and they're really well done. Uh, and he did one on um, the wake, like these two endings that you have with mm-hmm. Koth and Frampt, yep. and and the Age of Fire and the Age of Dark, and how they're both futile essentially. Yeah, which I feel like is a very kind of Japanese and um, Asian culturally approach to. Mm. Um, philosophy yeah in the sense that like all your choices are kind of futile in a sense um just from like uh like suffering like ignore suffering and their suffering in the world kind of um yeah i just think like as as a difference in like you, this isn't really like the hero's journey that we see oh, yeah, from yeah. Western civilization. Yeah, exactly. It's not your stereotypical at. like here's no. the good side, here's the bad side. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's some kind of an amalgam of both. Yeah. Um, without a clear, like philosophical, like this is the right path. Well, yeah, you have like that duality where it's it's sort of goes right. to like the exactly. yin yang thing. Where, yes, like, exactly. They both exist, and neither like if if one's overtaking the other, it's never like a good thing. Right. Like they both need to be balanced out. Yeah. Well, so. and at either rate, um, the prepare to cry uh video just did a really good job of presenting why the age of dark also mm-hmm. was kind of futile as an ending yeah uh why it wasn't definitive yeah. it'll be like being the right yeah. one it'll be interesting to see what he does i don't i don't know um i don't know if if uh, you're aware of this or not but they're remastering dark yes. souls one for the for new so um vadi is actually He's remaking his prepare to cry videos for Dark Souls oh, wow. One as part of that, and I'm wondering if he will incorporate anything like you've seen with like Dark Souls Two, like with um, Aldia, oh, cool. and if he'll take anything from like Three, which I don't. There's like I wonder if he'll sort of apply those to any of it because mm-hmm. it is an interesting thing. Like 
it's sort of funny like you make this game and you're saying well either ending kind of sucks like it's all about just like the futility of your of your, your, choice. your choice and then you make more games yeah it's like oh huh, it continues <laughs> it's like oh well if it doesn't matter what you know but then why does it continue yeah, <laughs> yeah. which i think dark souls 3 sort of presents for good or for good or bad that that's kind of true yeah but um so getting into the the catacombs i guess before we leave new londo though i just mm. want to say sure. before in our first podcast um in our first discussion one of the things we talked about was how the world is seamless and interconnected mm-hmm. um and how that's a selling point for dark souls and one of the uh questions in coming into this discussion was what would my uh frame of reference with dark souls 2 how would that like affect mm-hmm. how i see this aspect of dark souls and i just think in new londo is an area where you really see this mm-hmm. highlighted um mm-hmm. where you know, it connects to the Valley of Drakes, um, you know, obviously it connects to Firelink, connects to Dark Root Basin, and it's just, like, really cool when you drain it and you find you can walk out to the Valley of Drakes. Oh, yes. It's like, what? <laughs> this is, like, how, how is that possible that yeah. I've come down here and I'm at this level? It's, it's like, really cool. Yeah, it's not one of those, like, your mind's unlocking moments. Like, yeah. oh, this yeah. is where they are. Uh, it sort of goes the, that spatial thing. Yeah, <laughs> and you just really appreciate it just for, for like you mentioned in playthroughs. Like, it really rewards uh, consecutive playthroughs where you know where to go and you can skip things. Like, yeah. that's just, like, such a boon. It, it's um, kind of funny, a game that's talking about the futility of, like, doing things is also a game that's saying, here, you should definitely play this again. Yeah, it totally is. <laughs> that's true. It's funny. <laughs> play through your futility again. <laughs> Prepare to die. Um, and, um, yeah, I think that's what I want to say about that. But I just, I really appreciate that. Yeah. And I think, I do think I like it more than in Dark Souls 2, just in terms of being able to have more freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's an interesting point because um, New Londo depending on how you talk to it, they'll say, oh, that's that's in the first half of the game or that's in the second half. Right. You know, depending on when you choose to play it. I think, because I think the second half becomes much more linear, you know, where you're going, here's it this does. branch. But having the new Londo in there for me, maybe that's maybe that's why I'm more charitable towards the second half than maybe hmm. other people are where they think it kind of falls flat. Because I'm like, I always play through new Londo in the second half unless oh, I'm like, okay. you know, unless I'm doing it the other way. So like, I kind of have that to look forward to that connection. Like things are still unlocking for me. Yeah. And I guess I also, I kind of do always do the dark root stuff too. So okay. I think, I think, I think it might just, uh, but that's also a cool thing is like when, like the second half is obviously when you get the Lord vessel, but what mm-hmm. you choose to do or when that happens, it's kind of cool that that even kind of falls. Yeah. Like you save it for the yeah. second half. Yeah. I do typically go to new Londo to start, especially just get that fire keeper. Yeah. soul. that's right there at the beginning. Yeah. Well, I think you've even played through it more times than I have at this point. This is like my, like, this is on, like, this was only the, um, second, maybe third time I beat Ornstein and Smo. So it's like the oh, times okay. I've gotten into the second half of the game, this was really a return and like, uh, I kind of did it the same way, but I, I can see, I can I can also see, I guess, if you played the game a bunch of times, the second half, if you do take Dark Root and New Londo out, mm-hmm. really not the best l- levels. Are it left. does, you know, you said that some people feel like it falls flat, and it does feel that way. Oftentimes, when I've started a, ca- a new character, like a new build, and you get to Ornstein and Smo and beat them. <laughs> like, I'm it done. doesn't feel like, yeah, it doesn't feel like there's a great incentive to continue. It's yeah. just like, you just know that there's these four boss fights you got to get through. And there's these hellish places that you need to endure yeah. to get there. And yeah, I don't know. It, it does kind of fall flat. The yeah. adventure does kind of. Yeah. Lessen. Because speaking of hellish places, yeah. <laughs> uh, the catacombs. I want to get your experience. I'm just gonna f- put it out here. I hate the catacombs. I hate. The catacombs. I really hate the catacombs. I hate, the catacombs. I hate skeletons. I hate. Um, I, I hate, hate falling to my death. A million bone rails at the bottom. Like I hate that the whole place is just torture. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just bones like oh, just that bridge flipping. I couldn't remember how to get to patches. Okay, but... <laughs> when I first came to patches, the guy's sketchy, yeah. so sketchy, and and he's like, 
he's like right by the switch for the bridge yeah. and i was like no there's no way i'm letting this guy stay here yeah. i actually just killed him i was like no, screw this i'm just killing him that's that's probably the smart way because i kind of remember how to get to him and i still tried crossing the bridge like an idiot i, I was like <laughs> what am i even doing i didn't even know he would do that yeah i just saw him standing there and he was so sketchy to talk to i was like I know the way this game works. This guy's yeah. going to flip this bridge on me. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not walking into that. I'm just yeah. going to kill him. I don't care. Yeah. And I don't know how you approach it. So I did make another weapon and make it um, oh, you like, did? like a faith one or whatever. You're, you're more diligent than I So am. I think I, I took the, um, what is it? The, I think it's the, uh, whatever uh, you get from Astora. the undead dragon. Yeah. yeah, the Astora. But like, I just didn't want to use it. And so I just stopped at a certain point. Like, yeah. I tried, because it took me a while to get to the catacombs. I couldn't remember anywhere to go. And like, There's all these, like, shortcuts you need to remember to jump down, to get through yeah. it, like, quickly. Yeah, and then I finally got a pretty quick path, but... It's just frustrating finding yeah. that, though. And because it's variable each time, because sometimes a skeleton yeah. will roll in your way, you know, or something stupid like that. Yeah, it just, man, off. what an unpleasant It's area. so, yeah. They just come back to life, overwhelm you. There's so many numbers. They do pretty heavy damage. They do. Like, I just, like yeah obnoxious it is obnoxious <laughs> and and you get to the bottom and you're still not done you know the, yeah. the stupid uh pin no 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 what are they called it's the wheels the yeah the bone wheels. wheels bone wheels i um, defended them in uh the uh you know the painting of Ariamis. yeah or um but i don't defend them at the bottom of the cat uh, there's just too many because i like doing the thing i was like oh, i'm gonna pick them off one at a time at some point you're accidentally gonna trigger another yeah. one and to come it typically in. happens. What I usually do is I, um, there's like a hallway. Oh, it's where the last necromancer is, and there's two archers beside him, and it's in like, it's beneath mm. a tomb. There's yeah. there's a uh, a black knight. Yeah. In the ledge above. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I just lure the bone wheels into that hallway. Yeah, that's what I ended up doing yeah. for part of it. And then once I figured it's out how to so drop the ledges, stuff. I just like did that. And then yeah, and you can just run into pinwheels. Yeah, because you know, luckily, Location. luckily, mercifully, pinwheel. Is a piece of cake. Yeah. You know, I liked in the catacombs, like, doing the switches and stuff. Because that's puzzle-like. And mm. I enjoy that in games. Mm. Like, having, oh, like, you know, like, like in, like, a lot of the Zelda games. Yeah. A lot of, like, temples that are puzzles. And it kind of felt like that. But but it, it, you're, it's just overwhelming having mm. the skeletons constantly coming at you. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I, I, and I didn't find that, like, secret bonfire until well after i'd played through it multiple times or i don't know if it's a secret bonfire but it's like, oh, a, like even though like it's still like kind hidden of hidden door. yeah yeah there's so many hidden passageways too yeah yeah anyway so yeah you get to pinwheel yeah and he's he's nothing i mean he's he's fine he's, as far as like he's cool though um the whole like mask of the mother and father <laughs> yeah. and child and the the lore that's yeah uh intimated behind that and he's like trying to piece people together yeah He's them being like like the family so people, yeah. yeah yeah it's cool though yeah like and i i think he was put i think from what i know he's like maybe intended to be an earlier boss originally or something which might be why he's like kind of easy but, but why are the catacombs so hard then? <laughs> <laughs> i don't understand but then, yeah it sort of undoes that but yeah i get through there and then you get to the tomb of giants um, which okay so... i like the tomb of giants more than the catacombs because like what? why <laughs> I'm like, who are you? <laughs> I like that a game makes a place black because they're like, here it's dark, but but, but like for every game that means it's, it's like such a gray. One -trick pony thing though. But like, I just like. I'm not going to say, like, I loved it, but I loved it more than the catacombs. Okay. I was like, this was more fun to me. Like, maybe it's, it's because scary. I'm such an impatient person that I can sprint and, like, kind of fail. Like, oh, yeah. catacombs kind of punish just sprinting through and trying to figure out what to yes, do. Yes, it did. Whereas Tomb of Giants, like, I'm a rapid iteration yeah. person. I'm like, here, sprint. Okay, dark, uh, Black Knight killed me. Here, sprint. Oh, there's a giant here. <laughs> I oh, just, okay. Like, I just did that, like, a half dozen times. <laughs> but here's the thing. There's no convenient bonfire to start from. There, yeah. I don't like the bonfire placement in Tomb of Giants. Well, I think that's what gets me the most. There's about the it. there's the one right off the edge with patches, right? And yeah, that, that one. Once like, you get there, but getting there from Pinwheel, especially if you've never done this before, mm, yeah, it's a nightmare. It's like well, yeah. to go straight from boss fight where you're already kind of estranged from a bonfire to yeah. begin with. Like you know, you're trying to get through the catacombs, yeah. get to the boss. You know, get through the bo bone wheels, get to the boss, 
and then try yeah. and find a bonfire in pitch black. Yeah, that that is an action. Ugh. You can see the bonfire pretty well so though. Once, well, like once it actually like yeah. within range. Yeah, <laughs> but you um, know it's there. It but is then hard there's to all find. these trick ledges and that probably did make knowing that that second bonfire exists probably because i like that was what i was trying to get to that's what i was like fails what, yeah. in which like the one where the the one after patches between oh, matt yes. and nita like that yeah. was basically the one i was trying to get to like yes. that was my goal i didn't care and about like, the is items is this where i jump off nope yeah. <laughs> i died is this where i because i had i think at that point i was pretty much my character was what they were so it was just right. me running in trying like, to get through the boss trying to i'm like where was this again i could vaguely remember yeah and i was like i know it's kind of over to this side so i could kind of hop down right and once i figured that out after a few tries i got to it and then basically i was done with that section and i didn't care to explore i know well and that's what i don't like about the tomb of giants you don't want to explore yeah i don't i don't love that feeling uh, like, and, and if you do explore it's out of necessity it's because you know you have to get it done that's you don't true. want to miss any items it sort of defeats not... some of what's fun about dark souls is like exploring and learning yeah and like i guess i i enjoyed it as far as like getting through it relatively easy too (laughs) was probably also something and there's just like there there's a lot of it's such a discouraging zone because there's a lot of ways they they get you there's a lot of tricks you into the pit that's true uh and uh, i did let him kick me having yeah (laughs) i did i wanted to get like wrath of god or wrath of the gods or something on one character, so I had to go through the whole rescuing. Um, what's her oh, name? Oh yeah. Um, oh god, I can't remember. Uh, I know you're talking about. She, yeah, the, she's the, the cleric uh, lady. The cleric lady. Yeah. Um, and so you have to defeat her companions, and oh, mm. that's such a that's <laughs> so annoying. But their names like Nico and they're yeah. Funny names. <laughs> yeah, they're so annoying, and because those little bone columns yeah. are also in that zone, yeah. so it just goes super hectic. Anyways, it's, it's just like there's like a lot of just yeah. grindy, arduous things no, you have to do and even running to nito is the run to nito is not a good one even if you find it's not hard it's just long dear lord if you don't find the second bonfire running to nito <laughs> i thankfully i never experienced that yeah like that would be really that would almost tip me off like oh maybe there's something else but like there right. are some bad runs that sometimes it's hard to tell in yeah the game. No, and they, they do are. that again like the second half like once we get to Isolith, like they can really screw you over if you don't find the hidden bonfire <laughs> why hide? oh yeah oh <laughs> yeah. man i never but, thought yeah, about that yeah, well, i always just found it i mean so. they they do we'll get to that one they do provide hints like they oh, make okay. it like cuz they provide the first temple that shows you how the temple's shaped and then they provide the second temple but there's a wall where there wasn't one before like uh, they, they, i didn't pick up on that they they hint to you but still if you don't get that that yeah. sucks or like in Dark Souls Two, right before Alana, they're like <laughs> that like hidden bonfire down there. But I don't like hidden bonfires and uh, like the one in Dark Root. That's not cool either. Like before, like yes. before the Forest Hunters, like what? Like they kind of hint it, but I still hate hidden bonfires. I know because it should be a hidden bonfire that makes so it game breaking to not find a bonfire. Because yeah, they don't it's feel but... they don't feel like ones that are like oh, if you do find this bonfire, it's super easy. No, it's not like you've not. rewarded yourself. It's like if you don't find it, you're being you're punished. Screwed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, so you're being punished for something you don't know about. That, like from the pacing, you're like there should be a bonfire around right? Here. But like you, you never know. But, but then they just make you waste a bunch of time <laughs> whacking at walls <laughs> to figure out where it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't break your weapon. I don't love that, and I think they yeah. slow, they do less of that. But um, so the, neato, neato, yeah. I I did not like the neato fight. I. have I actually only completed that fight a couple of times um, just because it's so frustrating. I, I don't know. I just don't. Yeah. The, the, um, the like, spike column, like, blade attack that he does is mm. just really annoying, and I never got the timing down on it. I had to mm. dodge it. Like, there's, a, there's a little sound trigger right before yeah. it happens, so you, yeah. I could see someone being able to dodge it pretty easily. But, you know, then the, it is the skeletons come out after you. you. You lose half your health from the jump down. Falling into a boss arena is silly. Like they yeah, do that with the with uh, the straight in. Yeah, it's yeah. just like why take away like half of my health? Yeah, and and so, but Nito himself is kind of easy once you get up close to him. You can yeah. just whack at him. Um, I think what I don't like about it is the fact that there are so many of those elements that can catch you off guard. Like mm-hmm. you know, dropping down. And losing half your health, so you're already down a couple of S's just de facto of entering the room. Yeah. Um, then if the you know skeletons catch you at a bad moment, mm-hmm. uh, you can just easily die, and then you're you're so punished for dying because the run back is yeah. so annoying. It's just it's just annoying 
to just add 20 minutes to a boss fight, yeah. you know, because yeah. you have to run to it each time. Yeah, would, would uh, this is a general question. Would Dark Souls be a worse game if they put a bonfire outside of each boss arena? <laughs> Like, would it be what, a worse game? Yeah, I don't think. No. It, I don't think it would. I, like, no, it wouldn't. I don't be. think there's any. Value. It would make sense. I mean, you sort of memorize some runs, and some aren't so bad. But like, anytime they've put a bonfire, like basically right before a boss, I never complained about it. No, because <laughs> it just lets you do what's fun, which is like figuring out. Like it's like problem yeah. solving. Like it, it, it's not. Yeah, it's not making the game like yeah worse for it i don't so think. some people argue that the the run gives you time to like contemplate what you're gonna do and helps you like process. i mean that's true but I'm... if there were a bonfire right in front of the boss i mean i would still do that and i've still done that in, in i could still bosses. Think. <laughs> like i still just like stop you know try and release my frustration and think okay what am i doing yeah. wrong here okay he attacks like this i could just like hang to the right whatever yeah um so i i've still done that when they've yeah, put exactly. bonfires i think that's a valid point that the run does give you time but also not every run does that some runs are very hectic and yeah. annoying um yeah. like running the pinwheel yeah and i mean i guess like a lot of them put bonfires in the room after you defeat them in the like the second half so it might be weird to have two bonfires like right next to each other Dark well, Souls you don't 3. have to put a bonfire in the room after you beat them. You There's know? one in Dark Souls 3 where you can see a bonfire from another bonfire. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> the way they that's kind of... Yeah, that defeats it it feels kind of silly, but... Yeah, I, I feel a little more positive about Nido, but I agree. Falling in sucks. I fell in once, immediately... Or basically, immediately got spiked, and I died. And I was like, <laughs> how was I supposed to even do it? I know, anything? yeah. Like, it is a cool fight, though. Like, um... You I know, also drew him over fighting this like great yeah. being yeah. that you've seen from like the first cutscene. Yeah, he looks cool. And he's like down in the depths of the earth. And, and he's bigger than you think he's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> he's like a big guy. Um, don't go to the back of the room because there's bone giants that'll kill no, you. And that's the hard part, like kind of dodging his little annoying sight things as you like let him wander over towards the easier skeletons mm-hmm. while dealing with the skeletons, like knocking them, knowing that they're going to resurrect in like a few yeah, seconds. Yeah, because I didn't have a divine weapon. I could one shot the skeletons. I don't know. With it. Like my Zweihander, I could take out like three at once. So maybe yeah. that helped a little bit that, too. It was like, I think it was two shots with my Uchi Katana. Yeah. Um,. Yeah, I think I think why I think it is a cool fight, and I like that it's different. There's ads, you know, there's yeah. added mo- um, monsters to fight, um, and that element uh, is cool. And they're manageable because, like, like, they are. Like you can sort of do zone control. Like I have to right. stay in this zone. And he's not so difficult that you can't do that. And then he'll kill him too with his like, little blast. He does. Yeah, so that helps too. <laughs> yeah. um, I think why I didn't like it is I never got a rhythm down with that. Yeah, fight. exactly. It seemed random when I'd be able to kill him. Yeah. Not random, but like I just got lucky. Yeah. And I think I was able to get a rhythm like, oh, dodge a couple of those yeah. things, swipe at the skeletons, get him down, then try to like lure him in, hit him a few times. And then I did actually pull a shield out for this fight too. Like okay, pull yeah. out the shield for his blast mm-hmm. and continue. I <laughs> never got that. Yeah. I was just like, okay, now's my opportunity. He's going to kill Also, those y like, does massive damage. So I feel like I yeah, like, it's as, 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 like, AOE benefit two or three too. rounds of, yeah. like, that well, and, like, your back swing going to kill some skeletons. Behind yeah, exactly. So I could kind of too. accidentally kill some people, yeah. so. But, yeah, so he, he's, he's all right. Um, mm-hmm. um, getting. The Great Lord Covenant's cool. Getting into a boss fight that might be all right. <laughs> the Duke's Archives. <laughs> So, so the Duke's Archives is a level, um, I mean, I don't, I, <sighs> like, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> it's cool. It's, I, I like do, the theme. Yeah, you know, exactly. like this library. Yeah. And there's this cool, like, crystal, war, you know, skeletons, or hollows, and... Who hit hard. Yeah, they hit really that, hard. That is probably one of the biggest jumps, is, like, how much damage they yes, get. Yes, it's insane. <laughs> it's like, whoa, I'm gonna die. Yeah. I, I really think they did a good job designing the theme of this level. Yeah. And, you know, then you go to... And it's really... I feel like they put a lot of thought into it. Uh, when you first encounter Seath and you can't actually kill him. And so yeah. you're forced to die. Like, that was really cool. Yeah. I, I, I Honestly, I didn't feel spiteful about it. No. It, it felt like a cool way to involve some plot in Dark Souls. Yeah, exactly. You like, know? Because some people don't like the forced death, but I'm like, it's like the one... Like, one of the feel like... It feels like a story moment. Yes, it does. <laughs> and then you're in the cell... It's yeah. really cool. And then there's these, yeah. like, you know, disgusting um, 
the, the Mikasas yeah, or whatever, and, Sokka's. Yeah, and, and, and they're like the result of his yeah. tampering. They're like, they're like princesses creation. or something. Yeah. yeah, they are, and you can yeah. hear. Apparently, you can hear them crying if you get close. Yeah, and there's some that don't attack. And yeah. Like, there's at least one. Um, so it's really disturbing. It's just like a yeah. cool level. And those lizard guys run past you and the things Yes, play. and the sirens wailing <laughs> yeah. or whatever. It's just like a really cool level. I really enjoyed it. Well, I enjoyed the thematic elements of it. And once I got to um, uh, the actual cave, I felt good mm-hmm. about it. But I struggled so much in the library trying to figure out where it, to go. I got confusing. turned around and I didn't realize that there was one avenue I hadn't gone through yet. Mm-hmm. And so I died so many times. Yeah. Um, I forgot about the bonfire that falls there. Oh, and yeah. I died extremely close to it no. <laughs> i think i died down on the floor as you're going to it uh, like sucks. i just like i was like not being careful and i think yeah. an archer hit me you know like yeah and the channelers their yeah. spells hurt too and then it was like as i was panning around on the you died and i could like i was like oh, wait, i think there's a bonfire over there <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's taunting you in the distance <laughs> yeah yeah but it's it's hard it's not the most fun to get through but the theming and like the weird sort of for dark souls like the plot of yeah. it yeah Feels, it's interesting. It's it's different. It's unique. It's not like yeah. any other level, I don't think. Yeah, and then the actual like crystal caves with the invisible bridges. Like I think that was kind of tense and fun. <laughs> it is tense and it's fun. It's cool. It again, it feels very much like you know a puzzle you're trying yeah. to solve. Like a the golems, not so cool. Ugh. The giant, the giant like non responding cool. golems. <laughs> it's not cool. It's cool. It's just evil. the way you slide off so easily. I know. You just like if you just are on the wrong side, you just fall off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like a weird binary choice, like either safe or dead. Like there's no like it's true, yeah. Slipping, it's just like no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so it's funny. Like, ah, okay, but yeah, so that that was annoying. Um, once you figure out the pathing, though, it's pretty easy to run through. And if yeah. you don't need, uh, there's this one section where I think there's I think it's like the magic ember is in in this one section. Yeah, it's, it's like it's not the route you need to take to get to the boss. It's yeah. A, an alternate one yeah. that you can get i think that i think that's the ember that's where it is yeah um if you don't need that the level's fine you can just like run right yeah i didn't it. get that at all. i was like screw that i know that that path curves <laughs> yeah i didn't know that and yeah. so i spent a long time yeah. refighting that golem yeah uh yeah trying to figure out the pathing there yeah yeah annoying. i yeah i didn't do it i was like i'm just going straight to oh see oh my gosh all the crystal lizards too there though i like, know it's... i definitely tried to farm them <laughs> <There's> <laughs> at, so many. at that point i had my weapon and like Maybe it's just because like I, I like I, I had my ideas like I'm so I hand her to the end yeah, of time. Yeah, <laughs> to the end. <laughs> I was just like this is what I'm doing. But um, then the so the Seath fight, the clams are terrible. Cl- I got like three clams in my first attempt with him because like oh, they can sometimes they come in yeah when, before you have one. the fog gate. <laughs> yeah, I, I died. Actually, I had a little trouble with Seath. You I, did? I wasn't doing super great against. <laughs> it took me not a long time, but a few tries. Like, it took me, like, probably, like, five or six tries to beat Seath. Why was it difficult? I don't know. Well, so, so like, you know, I obviously break the crystal. Like, I right. know that. Yeah. And then <clears throat> I would get in close, and he would, like, whack me with his tail and stuff. Oh, yeah. And, like, I just had it a hard... Crashes. I had a hard time figuring out when I was really open to hit Oh, okay, him. when your opportunity was. So, and, I, like, maybe I wasn't playing with shields either. I didn't seem to be able to roll the tail attacks. You know, I just didn't, yeah, those are hard to dodge. Like I didn't it, like, and I, maybe if I had a shield, I could just shield up and be fine. Right. But uh, yeah, that so that was the thing, and he has a, a good amount of health. I wasn't doing like yeah, great damage he does. against no, he's him. Not easy to kill. So that was the thing is, I just would like the curse stuff was fine. I didn't have a pr- trouble when he did that stuff. It was mostly like I would get hit, and then I would try to get out to heal. Right. You have to get out before you get hit, kind of. Yeah. I had those moments, too. Yeah. too. I, I don't think I struggled as much to find a rhythm. I think I yeah. quickly found a rhythm. But I found that to be true, too. If you get hit, you often can't get out soon enough to heal. Yeah. Like, and a second hit will kill It you. seemed like it was like an auto kill. Also, yeah. I was trying to cut off his tail. And that was yeah. <laughs> extremely hard. And I gave up on that eventually. It's like, you know, I'm just going to hit whatever limb is closest. <laughs> But yeah, and he just yeah, rotates a he, lot. <laughs> I know he does. It, yeah. I I found him to be somewhat pitiful. I I think I think I had a harder time than most people, especially yeah. for having like I don't remember having a super hard time with him originally. But I was like, maybe it's because I thought he was easy. You know, just oh, hearing right. over the years, yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, he's not too bad. Yeah, that I just I just yeah, I had trouble. I got like 
Yeah, like you said, like insta killed by those. Like yes, his tentacle. yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah I, I thought I thought the level um, did well in presenting like a story that you can follow mm-hmm. and, and feel like you are trying to kill Seath, and you mm-hmm. know, he's again, yeah. it's it's this being you've seen from like the opening cutscene. Yeah, um, and he shows up with a roar in, into yeah. the cavern and yeah uh, it's like okay wow it's going down um but then i found yeah you know, he's kind of like this blob it felt like it, yeah <laughs> he didn't really feel like a dragon it, no so much he's just got, got all these tentacles which is kind of cool because that's you know the misakas are kind of like yeah. that so it's there's some thematic elements there yeah um but really it's just another boss fight where you get around him you get around his back yeah. and you just R1, you know, R2, whatever, just whack at him. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I found that element to be a little pitiful and somewhat underwhelming. Um, and and the crystal is such such a gimmick. It's like, okay, duh, I just, like, yeah. there's this crystal over there. I gotta it's go it's a it. gimmick that would be annoying to not know. Right, but <laughs> I, 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 I'd be surprised. I mean, obviously, I'm sure there's someone out there who had the unfortunate playthrough of not yeah. knowing, but it just seems like... Like you should, so you should, obvious. You, yeah, you should get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think there's enough hints, especially because you know everything about Seath. You're like, he's right. trying to be immortal. And there's right. these crystals. Like, yeah. yeah, like, and you could totally accidentally hit it too. Like that first time. I know. Yeah. Because you start off close to it. The other times you have to run across the room. Right. Which but, is annoying. But yeah. So overall, I do like the Duke's archives. And um, agreed. And uh, I think and it's cool that you like go outside to go into the cavern. Yeah. I don't know. It's not cool. I think what I like about the Duke's archives is done better in Bloodborne in the research hall, which okay. combines that and, like, one of my other favorite areas, like, Latria from Demon Souls. It's, like, a dark version of, like, it's, That's like, cool. a dark Duke's Archives meets, like, um, like horror yeah that's <laughs> so cool. the that's a fitting <laughs> so it that's that's pretty cool and it actually has rotating like staircases yeah which like that broken mechanism in the middle of the room like i think they originally were going to do more rotating stuff yeah in that first room but they just gave up on it but, yeah yeah but um so going going from that which is pretty good <laughs> to oh, um geez. to the demon runes and lost eyes lift So, there, so we similar to the demon runes. Let's just go through this gauntlet of silly bosses. Yeah, like, like really. We can sum that up. Demon runes and lost lost eyes of the looks horrible. Demon runes is silly. Lost uh, eyes of the Lith looks so bad. <laughs> ceaseless discharge. Like, where am I? <laughs> yeah, starting with a uh, ceaseless. I mean, okay. I, mean, did I, cheese, you just, I cheese this one every time. I just but, run to the door. Yeah, and it's hardly a cheese because it's the intended way to kill him. Is like, it? I mean, he has a full animation for that. He does. His like true. his jumping animation, like it's been, and this is a point of debate in the community, which is yeah. why I'm like I'm putting my foot down on it. Like he's designed to be killed that way. He, they wouldn't have animated because that fight's so terrible it if is. you try. Like I've done it in my other playthrough. This one, I just immediately ran back yeah. and let him jump. Because then it's like kind of okay. You're like, oh, I did something kind you, of terrible. You have you have to somehow bait and switch his attack in some fashion, whether it's like. Hiding just below the stairs so that his arm comes down on top. Yeah. That doesn't hit you. Hiding behind that Hiding thing. in that, like, yeah. back corridor. Because there's just, like, no way to dodge his arm. Like, some people are, are have better reflexes than I am. And That's a hard dodge. dodge it, but though, it's a really hard dodge. Yeah. Um, and it's so punishing. Yeah, any any swipes I find to be a hard dodge, especially for a limb that's so thick. Yeah. And the hitboxes are garbage on him. They he are. He has the horrible hitbox. There's a more garbage one that we're getting to, but <laughs> yeah. we're not there yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah, that boss fight is, <laughs> is weird. And I guess it has the whole draining aspect again. You yeah, know, you drain new Londo, you drain. I feel much less bad about dra- draining the last the yeah. demon runes. Yeah, um, yeah, like I feel bad for anyone that does it because I don't know if it works on if you don't get it on the first try or it's like I don't. It does. Yeah, uh, I think someone said online that you have to like run to where you pick up the gear and run back okay. to make sure it works. I don't know it if just, that's true, but yeah. I just did that anyway. The bait has never been that finicky for me. I've always gotten Same. it like pretty easily, except for that one time I didn't know, and I ended up having to look up, and then you know, that, that, that was unfortunate. But yeah, but, yeah so he, he's he's all right. Uh, demon Fire Sage? I don't like Demon Fire Sage. It's so dumb. Like, let's not do it's this. Pointless. I know. I, it's like I fought demon. three of these things. And it's so close. I don't close. want to stare yeah. at this butt again. 
So yeah, Demon Fire Sage will just breeze through. And he's just the fire version. Yeah, it's he's annoying. Really lame fight. Is his hammer longer? Like I, I feel know. like it's even longer. I don't even care. I beat it so easily. Just yeah, like, this again. Yeah, I, I had a little trouble with his silly fire thing, but I knew yeah. at that point the arena was just the thing messing me up. Because there's like brambles and stuff yeah, too but, that get in the way. But it's fine. It was yeah. just kind of silly. Um, um, is it centipede next? Centipede de- de- <laughs> uh, I I don't know how I beat that one. <laughs> I really feel like I just beat it. Uh, on sheer luck i because i i never like learned its attack patterns it just like got over me like above me and i started whacking things and somehow cut off its tail and then like same killed it. it was a complete dps race for yeah me. I, I i also didn't have much trouble with him and yeah. got him but i couldn't tell you what he was doing i he, can't either i just wait till he got close and then i just started i know like r2 or yeah like, I whatever. Like, ah, die. <laughs> like if he was above me it was like trying to overhead swing yeah, if he was like right, right there i just like yeah. You're just swinging at whatever parts presented to you. You know, just staying out of the lava, and then he died. He just kind of yeah. stayed on that thing. I like, I can't remember anything about yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> just either. like it was pretty easy, but not. It's not a weird fight because you're restricted. Yeah, heavily restricted. There's a ton of lava in that area. Yeah, until you get that ring. It's so weird right. to get the ring as part of the fight, but you have to like fail. Or, yeah, like equip it. Uh, yeah, so right. Weird. But um, yeah. So you have. It's another so instance almost... where you kind of need a ring. Yeah. So, I could see dying a couple times on that boss mm-hmm. fight, but overall, I don't think it's a difficult one because he's so no. big. You're just swinging. I'm imagining doing that at like SL one or something and having that be a real, uh, a real yeah. super stupid yeah, fight. That'd suck. But so would uh, the Witch of Isleth, but she's always done. But so Lost Isleth first though, mm-hmm. which is that even like it's kind of an area, but it's just a bunch of dragon butts. I know it's weird. It's a terrible like it's, they. It's it felt, not, honestly, it reminded me of Metroid Prime. <laughs> it does kind of yeah. Like, uh, well, I forget the it's name kind of, of that area. Similar obnoxious hue, but yeah, yeah it's just like dark and mm. there's magma and, mm. and it's just weird. It's creatures. not great. That that one's admittedly like the developers said they didn't like get enough time to finish it. Yeah, properly. it feels that way. It feels extremely. It feels weird. that way. It's like this is yeah. Where it's like. It could be know. cool, but they just copy paste the same. Like, there's two enemy types or three, and then the yeah. dra- the dragon butts and those stupid little statue guys. The stupid statues. They're like, what if there was like twenty of them? <laughs> I know it's so dumb. It's like this is. They're not fun so to fight. Lame. They don't do anything interesting. They're easy. They're so easy. They're Unless you get like oh, eight of them on you or somehow. But yeah, they're not. I like those little like what are those like weird squid tentacly mouth things. Oh my gosh! Okay, at that point I was like, this level is so dumb. It's so what goofy. Is this? I only liked that one because I was like, at least this makes me laugh. <laughs> I, I laughed at it too. I literally laughed out loud. I was yeah. like, who designed? Who made this thing? Yeah, exactly. And why is it here? It yeah. looks so off. Yeah. Thematic wise. Yeah, it's like uh, the the way they represent demons is kind of like classical demon but right. this one's like lovecraft demon. yes <laughs> and like an extreme yeah cheesy kind of version of one I was yeah like, like sort of war boy and it makes these weird suction cup <laughs> noises as it approaches you at least it's funny i would have taken a few more of those and gotten some statues <laughs> but um, uh such a dumb level yeah um although it's cool to fight like capra demon and Tauros demons. I mean, that's that was that's the classic. That was before. Empower, right? em, yeah, empowerment like, feeling. Oh, cool! These are now just enemies. Yeah, like I can just bowl them down. I'm yeah. like, oh, like Taurus, get out of here! Like, and then yeah, I always feel like I'm more satisfied killing Capra because I'm like, you were such an annoying. <laughs> like, you were so like tense. <laughs> so, I know, <laughs> but but yeah, so Lost Isolith, not a rewarding level to play through in terms of no. feeling like you're getting ex- an experience yeah. out of the game. Yeah, um, and could I you imagine think... having that bonfire run the whole time if you didn't find the one like right next to the temple? No, I can't. Like, what a terrible thing to go through the dragon months all the time. Yeah, and then, uh, but then it, you know, and it ends on a low note <laughs> with yeah, the Witch of really Isla, which is like the least successful gimmick boss from Dark Souls I can think of. Like, at least they let you save your progress, like right. on the sides. Like, if yeah. they didn't let you do that, if it had to be like a perfect one shot thing. That would be annoying. That'd be worse. But, worse than it already is. And it didn't take me super long, but it's just annoying. It is just annoying. Like, it's not fun. It's oh not... my gosh, his stupid hands are so hard to dodge. Yeah. Like, when, when I'm running in to get the... F- yeah, to get the first... Mm-hmm. Whatever. Like, the first core thing. Um, and, and he just, like, sticks his hand out at you. Yeah. It's so annoying. I yeah. never got that dodge down. Yeah. I, I ended up throwing on a shield, too, for that. Just to, like, 
But then it still bumps know. you. But yeah. I, like at least I wasn't taking as much damage, so I just shielded would it. Would it bump you into it the pit, does. though? Okay, it did that's what you. I would think. Depending on where... You have to like know where to stop almost. Yeah. Yeah. And that was just from a, some, a little bit of prior knowledge and just a little troubleshooting. Because I couldn't quite remember where the floor broke. Well, and yeah, that's hard to remember. And the boxes on his arms are like huge. Yeah, they're, those are really terrible. It hits you before it really yeah. hits you. And your dodge... Has a very small window of completing through the limb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you'll come out of your dodge and still get hit. Yeah, that's what I was finding. Yeah, and then and then that um, those the that final jump, I like. I know. Like, <laughs> I thankfully, I think I only missed that once. Yeah, like I missed it a couple times. Just because, well, I don't know why. the The first time was honest mistake. The second time was I think I I just panicked because I was about to get swiped. Oh, you know, and I just yes. sort of like I yeah. just sort of like. I made a bad choice because I know you're supposed to be a little bit over to the right. Like, and I, I kind of wish after all, like it's a minor thing. It won't make the boss fight better, but like, just make it so that you have to jump perfectly straight toward instead of like yes. off to the right. Like, I know. Yeah. Just stop it with that stupid. Like it's got the, like the turn. So you have to jump like kind of from a weird angle <laughs> and like platforming. And so you don't have time to look. No, <laughs> no, you just have to it's not like you can look down and be yeah. like, all right, I gotta jump that way. It's like, yeah. Holy crap. Just go. Yeah. yeah. Platforming in that game is terrible. So yeah, it, is. it was not, not great. So which of eyes with known bad thing. Just, yeah. And you, you, so um, the next area I have listed is the great hollow in Ash Lake. Which, you haven't been to that. I didn't go down to Ash Lake. I went into the hollow just to farm the uh, lizards. Yeah. Um, um, so, I mean, I, I can't I'll, say much I'll cover that. As far as Although like. Although, I did um, read up on. Uh, oh, shoot. The Knight from Katarina. Oh, yeah. Sigmeyer. Sigmeyer's storyline and how it yeah. ends there. And that yeah. was really cool. And, yeah. and how, like, his daughter has to kill him. Like, yes. Yeah. No, it's intense. It's, it's such a uh, it's such a hard quest line to be. I didn't get the quest line. I, yeah. I messed up the triggers somewhere. Yeah, it's in the tough. Room. Well, especially because it bugs out at, sometimes yeah. at Sense Fortress. Yeah, exactly. I think actually Sense Fortress is where I messed yeah. up Sigmar's quest line. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just quickly, like as far as like returning to the game, my thoughts is I it's you know it's a pretty place. <laughs> it's cool. Is it? It's it's funny because if you look up at this, it's the lowest it? place point yeah. in the. Yeah, and you can see it from like that's cool the two giants and stuff. That's really cool. But like it's it's funny the they they have this weird trigger where I don't know if we're getting this backwards. If you look up at the skybox, the music plays, or no, if you if you're looking down, I think around the music's playing like cool like like. Uh, like people like humming or whatever you know like vocalizing yeah. but then if you like look up or it like stops so, <laughs> so it's kind of funny like you can like yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> kind of play that's with kind it. of buggy yeah so that's funny that's funny but um at this point then um because um isn't just like a hydra down there yeah there's a hydra that it's cool because okay. the hydra jumps over you so you can kind oh, of see what the hydra sweet. looks like but and then there's those horribly annoying clams. There's tons of bass. Oh, they're down there in the Great Hall. The clams are down there. Yeah, there's a few uh, clams which I hate. I hate. The, I could never figure out how to fight the clams properly. I found them pretty easy. Like that, you may, just get behind them. Yeah, I don't. Know, and I they just, like have lunging attacks that. Yeah, I think it's preoccupy them so you can get behind them. Yeah, it must have been. I think because my main flaw, probably in everything, is that I'm super impatient oh, and yeah. I don't like. And I just never cared to, like, figure them out. So, like, they always, like... Basically, I only know that they poke me with their weird barb tongue. That was annoying. Did you ever get grabbed by the Misakas? Oh, uh, I didn't, actually. So terrifying. <laughs> okay, so I did accidentally get grabbed by one. I was like, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, what's going to happen? What's going? Why is he bringing me up to its face? And then I, like, shoot you through with a spear yeah. out of its mouth. Oh, God. And, like, alien style. It's like, <laughs> oh, like, what is this? And it took out, like, 90% of my health. I don't it's know like, if I've ever I seen this it. place. It's we like, just have to look that up. Terrifying. <laughs> it's so creepy. It's get away from me yeah yeah but um anyways yeah so that that okay yeah. ash lake's cool ash but Lake. um then we're getting to the end game with um the, yeah. the a firelink altar killing of the first flame gwen
so you saw Framed. So you finally saw, like, I mean, I don't, it's not half the reason I like Framed, but the fact that he comes in upside down. Oh, yeah. It's so his, weird. Like, his weird mustache, his, mustache his is... flesh dash. Yeah. Like, <laughs> flopping upside that down. That's weird. Flesh like, dash. He's already, like, goofy looking, but when he... I know, when he's upside down. So I said that, you know, cough comes from below. Oh, I didn't know that. That's <laughs> so, cool. So he just looks normal. You're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, Framed, but he's so goofy looking. I love that, um, as you're going down towards the kiln of the first flame <clears throat> after you've opened the door um and there's like the souls walking along the oh that's stairwell. so cool the that's knights. so cool yeah. what what is it is it just is it just the knights um i think like, the idea is that is those that are like intended? knights who like um yeah, yeah there's like some of the silver knights who like right. sacrifice themselves yeah for when and they didn't become black knights or whatever right because the black knights i think they're supposed to be the charred versions i think there's two different interpretations the black one, knights are the charred versions of the silver knights. yeah and like well i think once either they got burned with the first five stuff or they're burned by demons i can't remember I've, i think i i, I heard that they were burned by demons i think or, wait i think i, I remember yeah I, I think i may have heard, both. heard both yeah but, actually Either way, I guess they could be both. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> but, uh, would both make sense. But I, now they're I, hunting down the chosen undead. I don't love the like. Uh, so as far as firelink altar goes, um, or the kiln of the first flame, I don't, I don't love the run to Gwyn. Is like it's a little long. Oh, yeah. But like, but actually getting to it, like it's it's so cool fighting those it's knights. So cool. And you feel like such like, such a badass. You're just yeah. like, no, nope, I'm done with you. I'm done I know. With you. I know how to parry now. <laughs> Exactly. Do which I have is, to parry in the future? Which is like, yeah, it's like a hint. It's like, <laughs> it's oh, totally just a hint. parried like eight I times. tried not to kill Gwyn <laughs> with parrying. Yeah. It was so frustrating. He's just like, he's really difficult. Because it kind of feels like cheat mode. Yeah. I mean, he's not super easy with parrying, but he's a lot easier. It's super easy. It's so yeah. easy parrying. That's how I beat like, him too. Die. It's so pathetic though to parry. And that's what they, I guess what's intended with it is like, He's fallen from his glory. He's yeah. just some dude you can parry now and kill. Yeah, with a sad music playing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it is so sad. But I just love, I love the setup. I love the level, like, you know, there's like ash everywhere. It's clear oh. that like, you know, yeah, the first flames burn down. Yeah. You know, he sacrificed his own soul to yeah. like, rekindle it for a time. Yeah. And it, and it's just, and it's in the kiln, you know, and it just it very much feels like Dark Souls. Yeah. Like fire and flame and... Everything's like blasted. Yes, I love the architecture. It reminded me yeah. of um, the DLC for Dark Souls Two. Um, it was with the Fume Knight. Oh, with the, the like, Iron, the Iron Keep stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and just like when you fight the Fume Knight, it's yeah. also kind of in a similar setting. Okay, yeah. I, I don't know if it's ash or snow, and and yeah, I mean it's so it's got the ash everywhere. Yeah, yeah. and so it just I don't know. It kind of harkened mm-hmm. back to that for me, mm-hmm. or I guess for other people, Fume Knight would. Yeah, would call upon that killing the first flame imagery. Yeah, but um, it just had like a fitting, fittingly final and like yeah, epic Dark Souls ending. Yeah, I I, I liked it. I did. And, like and it. I, I just yeah, I love that like you're crossing that weird like bridge. It feels like you're in somewhere like pocket universe. Yeah, it does. Or like uh, maybe Dark Souls three is ending like maybe that's near like the end of time or something. Oh, interesting. Like yeah. or you know like it feels like there could be a time or spatial transportation. It does. Yeah, because you've opened this weird door and you're in this like yeah oddly different place. Yeah, and I love the architecture. Just all those weird bri- like you know like, columns and like beams. Yeah, it's so geometric. It's like weird um, how it holds it together. It's like a coliseum, but not like yeah it, it looks it looks so cool and yeah i i love the music and the the fight feels fittingly like you're like kind of questioning what you're doing like, you do yeah <laughs> you're like yeah. yeah i mean compared to like nishandra like, hey, for instance boring. just like right. it's so much better but that that's yeah that's an unfair comparison because dark souls 3 probably has well no i hate, I hate the boss for dark souls 3. you do yeah i mean i hate him thematically the most i would take oh. nishandra but Better fight, probably, but um, that's yeah. probably the one of the better fights. But Overall, that's, I'd yeah. still say I think Dark Souls 2 has better boss fights than 1. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, so I did... The, uh, we can get into endgame thoughts like that. Like, I, I went with the dark ending, like I said. I went with Koth. Mm-hmm. I hadn't done it before. It's cool. All the, all the serpents come up and, like, bow to you. Yeah, and, that's like, so cool. I, I hadn't seen it yet. Was, you, your version's only catch on fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh comes on fire i think uh i had the same reaction as when i completed dark souls 2 and i sat on the throne and i was like did i want to do that wait a minute i was like oh no wait i'm not sure that's good yeah uh, i'm not sure that's right 
Yeah. You know, and then same with this one. I like lit the flame. I was like, wait a minute, isn't the flame bad? <laughs> like, what am I doing? This is a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But um, I didn't think there was another option though. I didn't even know that I if mean, I went to leave, yeah, you get, get the you get ending. the dark ending. Yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm supposed to do, which is cool because that's exactly kind of what they yeah intend intended. Exactly, like oh, you you killed when there's nobody else to. This take. is what Frank's been telling you to do. It's <laughs> yeah. like just what you should do. Yeah, I like that but as an right? action, you can just walk away. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. I wish I. Yeah, I wish I had. Yeah, and, and the downside of being like you're still gonna bring an age of dark by walking know, away. Yeah. Like Eve, like you don't really have an option to not lean into one of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> which right. is which is funny, but there's um, no right option. But I mean, and compared to Dark Souls too, the only defense. I can see as far as like not having like at least in the vanilla version where you just have to sit there the sort of argument against it is well you already learned that you don't really it doesn't matter what you do right. either way you just roll into new game yeah just like gonna kind of indicate nothing changed yeah like whatever you do it's all gonna kind of go back to the it's same thing. cycle so like you know but it just feels less satisfying when you don't have the choice like, it does yeah and also Miss Chandra is just kind of a silly because then it gives you um it gives you a, a purpose and a point to playing through a new game again. It's like, oh, maybe I want to try and get that alternate ending this time. Yeah, and Dark Souls is like, is like, like we said, is like so replayable. I think Dark Souls one. Yes. Like Dark Souls two, I guess we can do generalities and just comparing returning. Like Dark Souls one, I like, like, um, I, I guess I don't know. Like Dark Souls one and Bloodborne are the games I want to go back and play again and again. Mm -hmm. And Dark Souls one is definitely moving through the world. Yeah. And doing that, and Bloodborne is probably just because I have a problem. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I just, just like it. Like, and it, but it also has a little bit of flexibility of like, oh, this time I'm gonna fight this guy first, or you know, like yeah. You and I think that choice is important. Dark Souls two yeah, actually does have that. But, choicing is really important. Yeah, and I'm I mean builds in Dark Souls two. There's more builds. There's more builds, which is fun, but there's not choice in the direction you take in the game. Yeah, and I think. I, I don't think I realized um, coming into Dark Souls how much of an effect that does have on mm. the game and as a whole and yeah. your experience and playing through it. Um, I definitely play through games to create builds, so I think mm. I was content with that in Dark Souls 2. Yeah. And in playing through like the first half of Dark Souls, seeing that there was it felt like there was less opportunity to do different builds, yeah. but there's more opportunity to explore the world in different ways. Yeah. Um, and there's still, you can still build plenty of builds. Yeah. Um, that's not like an issue with Dark Souls, I would say. Yeah. But um, I think I think coming from Dark Souls 2, I liked that freedom in, in, in creating your character yeah. a little more yeah. uniquely. Um, but I think Dark Souls does a better job of of presenting the overall experience of the game yeah. you know, in a way where you can explore it more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's because I think that's I think that's what what is a huge deal for me is just being able to sort of explore stuff at my at my like desire. And yeah. maybe maybe because I I making the comparison with Bloodborne is Bloodborne has a ton of optional areas. The actual core game can be pretty short. Oh, okay. Like you can go through it pretty linearly, pretty quickly. And I think I like that in a game when it's like, oh, no, I'm going to pop in this time. Or, no, I don't feel like it today. <laughs> yeah, it's nice <laughs> like, to be able to skip stuff. Yeah, like, sure. if I don't want to do it, it doesn't matter. Because, yeah, like, um, like Force of the Fallen Giants is kind of a big level. And there's a lot of stuff it going is. on. And I, like, literally every time I think about it, I think about Force of the Fallen Giants. And it's not a bad level. I just don't want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it like, feels rote. It feels so mundane yeah. and perfunctory and i guess i could run through it or something but i kind of for some reason when i start the game i tend to fight the enemies and then as i get later in the game i just start running yes. yeah but like so i, I just i just don't love that area <laughs> yeah it's definitely a yeah. barrier yeah and um but yeah so i think i think yeah. overall i like the games for two different reasons <laughs> yeah, yeah. um dark souls uh, I like for the world that it presents. I think it does a better job actually of presenting the story. Yeah. Um, than Dark Souls Two does. Dark Souls Two story felt even more cryptic. I think. And maybe yeah. It's because everything is so is not connected and is so segregated. You're not really sure why you're in this new place, 
yeah. necessarily. Yeah, you don't know if it's you took reference. The time to yeah. read items and stuff like that. Yeah, Dark Souls. I got the sense that um, I don't know. They just did a better job of uh, making it feel like you were on a continuous quest, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and but I think what I liked of Dark Souls Two was creating a character and and exploring how well my build mm -hmm. you know would get me through the different yeah. levels yeah uh, exactly with like power stance and there's yes, so many options exactly. and it is fun to see how that works yeah and then yeah like for for me i'm not a huge builds person like there's a few things i like to do but i'm like I, like as this playthrough like i got this y hander and I, yeah i never looked that. i never looked back but i like if i was gonna be playing through again it'd be interesting like oh i want to go fight this boss in this order with this right-hander when it's not powered up as much. Like, for some reason, that's kind of appealing to me. Yeah. Like, getting to bosses at different progressions right. is kind of cool. And the fact that you can go down to New Londo and do that so so early, not all of it, but, I mean, you can... Yeah, you, having a plus 15 yeah. weapon, uh, Murakumo on yeah. <laughs> uh, Ornstein Smo yeah. makes it a cakewalk. Yeah, because I've gone, I've gone through it in different ways, but... Like I like we said, I still never done dark mode. Really. <laughs> like yeah, I could still do all I, that. I always did. It. I could I could do the. I, I don't know if you need the master here now, but I could still just go down through there and avoid like. Well, and something I did just for a souls boost is kill ceaseless discharge early. Cause yeah. It's just a run. Yeah, exactly. You just, you just run out there and yeah. you get a free like sixty thousand souls or something. Yeah, exactly. So, but uh, but yeah, so those are basically those are basically my thoughts on it. Is like yeah, I think coming back to it. The, as uh, as far as returning goes, I am a little bit sad that they've never tried to replicate the world building of Dark Souls 1. And it's weird that they didn't, considering that really feels like the selling point of Dark Souls 1. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it seems like a big, a major talking point between, a, a ma like a comparison point, like a pro and a con. Yeah. In comparing the games, and you would think that they'd pick up on that. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe resources wise, they were like, we want to yeah. focus more on options and weapons, but it's at the cost of. I'm sure it's hard to make such an intricate. That's what world. I was thinking too, in terms of design. Yeah. Also, Dark Souls Two had a really um, troubled development. Um, oh, I didn't it, know that. it had like a switch halfway through, oh, where okay. they basically scrapped the original stuff and Whoa. had to like remake stuff. But that seems to be kind of true for every game that's made. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sure there's process. ones that, yeah, like, it seems like there's always, like, some overhaul. Bloodborne showed signs of having some major overhauls. So, so, so I, I, I'm just saying I'm not doing it as a shot against Dark Souls 2. It's just, like, the development path is always not a linear one. So the fact that Dark Souls 1 came out feeling so intricate and so intentional and so clever without too many serious problems is kind of, like... I yeah, think it's kind of amazing. Kind of like, kind of a like a lucky, a little bit of luck on their part, a yeah. little bit of like, just like, really shows what they're good at really well. Yeah, and kicked off the series to like yeah. a really strong start. Yeah, know? exactly. So, so yeah, that's that's Dark Souls one from the perspective of someone coming to it from the first time and someone returning to it after a long time. So, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere we're people can find you anything you want to promote <laughs> no yeah i just yeah these are great games yeah, yeah just just exist there and um uh for myself if you're you're probably finding this uh, either on youtube or twitter but i'm at the lore hunter if you want to see uh more of them talk about souls games and all the stuff i do with uh bloodborne so uh, give that a look but yeah thanks for thanks for listening I'm pretty sure Dark Souls fans are lunatics They seem so trustworthy since I was new to this I thought maybe was a great game I missed Mate, you're gonna have a great time, they promise It's the first time I believe a bold face lie Sobbing to my pillow, hot tears, and I scream why But honestly, how dense am I When the special edition's called Repair to Die